name's Rob Crowder, product designer in Tennis Tragic. When I took up tennis a few years ago, I was instantly hooked. I loved that feeling you get when you hit the ball and it does exactly what you intended it to do. Being able to hit a backhand down the line was like magic for me. When you're trying to improve, your mind is just so full of questions. It's hard to know what to focus on. That's why I made Smash. I wanted to transform the way people learn about their game. Smash is a lightweight band that you wear on your wrist. It's made from materials perfectly suited to the rigors of playing tennis. It uses incredibly precise sensors combined with an app to provide a breakdown of your game plus the insights you need every time you play. Smash works by measuring the accuracy and consistency of your technique. From the number and type of shots you hit, the power of your swing, spin you put on the ball and how consistent your technique is. From forehand through to volley the details of your strokes are measured hundreds of times every second to create an incredibly accurate picture of your game. After playing you'll get a full breakdown of your performance as well as recommendations so you know exactly what to focus on in order to improve. To keep you motivated we've rolled up the overall consistency of your game into a smash score. You can use this to compare your stats with other players, challenge people nearby, see your progress over time, even set yourself new challenges and goals. When I first approached the idea of creating a wristband for tennis, I wanted to ensure it was genuinely helpful. Existing fitness trackers measure generic activity. Smash is different. It measures how well you're doing something and makes recommendations just like a coach. To get to this stage, I've spent the last 12 months working with a rough prototype and analysing tons of data. I've spent time with tennis players and coaches, as well as a team of UX and industrial designers. A research grant from the Australian government and my own funding has enabled us to get to this stage. For now, it's time to move Smash into production. Your pledges will enable us to commence tooling, set up the production line, finish the app, build the first run of Smash devices. Whether you're having a hit with your mates, practicing drills, playing matches, or you're a young player on the app, Smash can add an extra dimension to your game. With your help, we can turn Smash from a prototype into a real game changer. All right, now on to a really exciting mobile game, which I've been having quite a bit of fun with. It's called Icebreaker, a Viking voyage by Nitro. Now, what is Icebreaker? Basically, it's a physics puzzle game in a kind of Norse or Viking mythology theme. And it's basically a finger slicing puzzle kind of level based game. And it's quite fun, actually. Now, the price is going to set you back around eight ringgit to 10 ringgit, about that. It's about three US dollars, depending on where you buy it from. And it really is quite a fun game. So the game's on iOS and Android right now, but it wasn't always like that. It started as a Flash game a few years back, and it's been expanded and enhanced for the mobile devices. And most recently, it's been added to Android, so it's more accessible than ever. So what do you actually get when you buy the game? Well, you get 140 levels. You get boss fights, like against frost trolls, and you get a lot of physics puzzles, and side quests, and secrets, and all sorts of stuff like that. So are you going to like a game like this? Well, let me show you basically what the first mission looks like. You gotta free this guy who's locked up in this ice cube here and you just gotta 
slice the ice cube down, and there you go. So it, it's basically these sorts of physics puzzles, point, swipe, and that sort of stuff. Now, if you're gonna like it, it really depends. If you like games like Cut the Rope, Fruit Ninja, or maybe even Angry Birds, you're gonna like a game like this. It's something that you can really put a bit of time into when you're free, when you're stuck on the bus, when you're stuck on the train, and it's just the aesthetic and the graphics are beautiful. So I really have to highly recommend this one, and for the price of eight to 10 ringgit, well, that's cheaper than lunch, so why not? Well, I certainly hope that today's episode has helped to perhaps invigorate or perhaps start an interest in something new like podcasting, etc. But it is the end of the episode for this week, so a big thank you to Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf here at Tropicana City Mall for hosting us as we sat down and had a little bit of fun. Of course, we'll be back same time, same place next week. In the meantime, any questions or anything you want to say at all, just find us on Facebook and on Twitter, etc. We would love to hear from you. My name is Adam Carruthers. Till next time.